delivering quality education, expanding access to learning, serving learners' learning needs, tackling challenges of the present time, supporting every learner's dream, reaching young Tagalogians where they are today. From the music capital of the Philippines, advancing in the challenge of distance learning. Bringing you quality education straight to your home. Plug yourself in. This is Deb and TV. Tarana! Hello class! I am honored to join you in your undying quest towards self-actualization. And although you could not achieve it overnight, this episode will help you realize that it is possible. Albeit possibilities, your personal difficulties or vulnerabilities as adolescents seem to inundate you to stay driven through the course of achieving your goal. In the wake of COVID-19 pandemic, education has changed dramatically and you witnessed an e-learning boom. This drastic shift impacted your entire makeup, especially your mental state. How then can you maintain a healthy mental disposition despite everything that tries to destroy your peace. Before everything gets serious, allow me to introduce someone as precious and sharp as you. Our lesson today is a timely issue, especially for youths like you. However, it should not be feared or frowned at. Rather, it needs to be promoted, protected, and celebrated. I welcome everyone to my class, Personality Development. Today, let's uncover the wonders of Quarter 1, Module 4, Lesson 1, Mental Health and Well-Being in Middle Age and Adolescence. How do you get a truly pleasurable experience on this journey? Here are the objectives. You are about to unravel the skills that are essential to set your life goals. These goals, if crafted well, would ultimately lead you to a more purposeful and meaningful life. A thousand miles of success begins with a single step. Our first step is the pretest. Using your pen and paper, Choose the best answer in every item. Five seconds is all you need. Answers will be revealed right away. Number one, it is defined as the state of well-being in which every individual realizes his or her own potential, can cope with the normal stresses of life, can work productively and fruitfully, and is able to contribute to her or his community. A. Mental health B. Emotional health C. Physical health D. Social health The 
The answer is letter A, mental health. Number two, it includes happiness, interest in life, and satisfaction of well-being. A. Physical well-being B. Social well-being C. Emotional well-being D. Psychological well-being Letter C. Emotional well-being is the correct answer. Number 3. It can affect your mental health and some areas of your life. A. Appetite B. Relationship with others C. Climate change D. All of the above Letter D. All of the above is the correct answer. Number 4. It refers to a health problem that significantly affects how a person feels, thinks, behaves, and interacts with other people. A. Mental illness B. Social illness C. Physical illness D. Depression 5 seconds Very well! You got the correct answer! Letter B, Social Illness. Number 5. It is characterized by compensating for overeating such as vomiting, excessive exercise, drinking laxatives, and etc. A. Anorexia Nervosa B. Bulimia nervosa C. Social eating D. Binge eating disorder Let's check your answer! Such illness is called Bulimia nervosa letter B The first five items were given for you. Please answer the other five items by yourself. Your earlier performance says that the result is promising. Congratulations in advance for doing your best! You may check the answers on the Answer Key section on page 24 of your module. In your previous module, you learned about the dangers of stress, in particular, how it affects your physical health. Also, you were taught about ways on how to cope it and use it to your own advantage. Today, we will delve in the concept of mental health and well-being and why is it important to adolescents like you and to every person in general. Understanding mental health is vital to adolescents like you to be able to know how to evaluate and analyze your thoughts and judgments. Now, in the midst of the global pandemic, challenges concerning mental health have escalated, posing negative impact towards the overall health stability of everyone. By raising awareness on mental health, one will be able to know how to manage problems and stress through proper treatment and assistance. Mental health is a bigger-than-life topic. Although it is important to talk about it, most people walk away from it. They just feel uncomfortable by giving it a negative connotation. Consequently, Mental health is a positive concept related to the social and emotional well-being of individuals and communities. Having good mental health or being mentally healthy is more than just the absence of illness. Rather, it is a state of overall well-being. 
renowned researchers delineate mental health problem as a short-term and temporary change in a person's thoughts, feelings, and behavior that upsets one's well-being, interpersonal relationships, and productivity. Further, they define mental health illness as a diagnosable mental disorder characterized by changes in one's thinking, feeling, and behavior, as well as one's relationships and productivity. One of the most common examples of mental illness is the eating disorder. It is an illness that is characterized by irregular eating habits and extreme concern about size. It can develop throughout any stage in life but typically appears during teen years or adulthood. Normally, it coexists with anxiety and depression. Here are the three of its most common types. Anorexia People with this kind of eating disorder have a true worry of weight gain and a distorted read of their body size and form. As a result, they eat very little and can become dangerously underweight. Although the disorder most often begins throughout adolescence, an increasing number of children and older adults are also being diagnosed with anorexia. You might know someone who eats uncontrollably, then purges, vomits, or uses laxatives in an attempt to losing weight. Such person is suffering from bulimia nervosa. It is a serious, potentially life-threatening eating disorder characterized by a cycle of binging and other compensatory behaviors. The third is binge eating disorder. It is a severe, life-threatening, but treatable eating disorder characterized by the consumption of large quantities of food in a short period of time, a feeling of a loss of control, or unable to stop when eating, experiencing embarrassment which results to stress and anxiety and not regularly using healthy compensatory measures to counter it. The World Health Organization underscored the negative impact of poor mental health as it diminishes the immune functioning, thereby leads to the development of certain illnesses and worse, death. One's physical health is also an important issue to good mental health. Sleep and nutrition, as an example, should be given importance and properly determined by an adolescent whose tendency is to get these things for granted. An individual who is deprived of sleep will be cranky will have a short temper, will sometimes become emotionally sensitive, and will also have a bad memory. Physically, an individual who lacks sleep may develop the following. Skin rushes or acne, have dark circles around the eyes, may develop bad posture because of feeling weak or sluggish, and having low energy. People around this person might get affected too. 
Developing one's good mental health and well-being is foundational toward a happy and healthy adulthood. Many adolescents are more susceptible to mental health concerns than adults. This is because of your underdeveloped brains and continuing changes in your bodies. Moreover, you are going through tough times in resolving your identity crisis and role confusion. You are a child of the universe. I believe you can conquer adversities life throws you. I hope these 10 popular steps to improve your mental health and well-being will help. First, value yourself. Take care of yourself with kindness and respect and stay away from self-criticism. Make time for your hobbies and favorite stuff or broaden your horizons. Do recreational activities, make a garden, take dance lessons, Learn to play an instrument. Second, take care of your body. Taking care of yourself physically can improve your mental health. Be sure to eat nutritious food, avoid vices, drink ample water, exercise every day, and have enough sleep. Third, surround yourself with good people. People with strong family foundation or social connections are generally healthier than those who lack a support network. Make plans with supportive family members and friends or Seek out enjoyable activities where you can get together or meet new persons such as a club, class, or support group. Fourth, give yourself away. Never hesitate to extend your hand to whoever needs it. Kindness will go a long way. Fifth, learn how to deal with stress. Whether you like it or not, stress is a part of life. And just because you cannot avoid it, it doesn't mean that you can cope with it. Practice good coping skills. Do sports like biking. Exercise. Take a nature walk. Play with your pet or try journal writing as a stress reducer. Also, remember to smile and see the beauty in life. Research shows that laughter is the best medicine. It can boost your immune system, relieve pain, relax your body, and trim down stress. Sixth, quiet your mind. Recreational activities and prayer can improve your state of mind and viewpoint in life. Meditation is the name of the game. Seven, set realistic goals. Plan what you want in life to accomplish academically, professionally, and personally and note down the steps you need to realize or achieve your goals it's good to aim high but be realistic do not pressure yourself too much again do not pressure yourself too much eight break up the monotony Sometimes, 
our daily routines make us more competent and develop our feelings of security and safety. A slight change of tempo can brighten a boring schedule. Change your jogging direction. Plan a road trip in beautiful scenery. Take a walk in different park. Hang some new pictures or try a newly opened restaurant. Only after the modified community quarantine is lifted. Better be safe than sorry. Ninth, avoid alcohol and other drugs. If possible, do not indulge in alcohol and other dangerous drugs. Sometimes, people may use alcohol and other drugs to self-medicate, but in reality, this would only make problems worse. Remember Beth Harmon in The Queen's Gambit? Lastly, get help when you need it. Finding help is a sign of strength, not weakness. There is always a help or support available for adolescents such as parents and siblings, school guidance counselors, and professional organizations that deal with mental health. You don't need to suffer in silence. Our discussion might have ended, but your relentless pursuit towards achieving a healthy mind and well-being is ongoing. As you traverse such long and winding road of your mental health journey, never forget to pause and appreciate how amazing you are. To broaden even more your mental horizon, please answer all the activities found on your module. For your culminating task, I want you to think of a significant event that happened in your life. Use the following questions as your guide. Describe the situation. What were your thoughts? How did you feel? What were your behaviors? What was the outcome? Finally, how do you overcome challenges in facing problems or situations in your life without affecting your mental health? Another episode has ended. Having a better understanding about mental health and well-being will be your compass towards excellence in life. This has been Teacher Pearl Mahait, your teacher broadcaster. Let me share with you a few of Max Ehrman's iconic lines twisted a bit. Go placidly amid the noise and haste. And remember, what peace one may gain from mental health awareness. With all its sham, drudgery, and broken dreams, it is still a beautiful world. Be cheerful. Strive to be happy. <laughs>